All right, welcome back to lesson six. Today we're going to be talking about simple data structures, arrays, and array lists. So an array is a primitive type of data structure. It holds a fixed number of items, and there's two ways to declare it. The first way is the type, then the open and close square braces, the variable name, uh, then the word uh, equal sign, then the word new, and then the type once again, and then the size inside the uh, braces. And there should be a semicolon right here. Then for the other way, the uh, beginning part's the same, and, and instead we just have um, the elements listed out with between some open and close uh, curly braces with a semicolon. So here is uh, here are a few examples. So int open and close, and then arr equals new array, and this one's gonna be a size four. And because it, it's just going to have empty spaces, uh, there's going to be zeros by default. And then next we have the double, open and close, price list equals, and then we have a list of prices. So once again, you could use this for strings, as seen here, and then booleans. And this is actually just trivia, uh, the binary string for four. And here we have some objects. And here is um, a character array, or in C, language C, this would be a string, but in Java, just a character array. So uh, oftentimes you want to access these elements of the array. And to do this, uh, let's say we want to store it somewhere. So we have the type variable name equals the array name, and then inside the square braces, the index. And an important thing to note, is that uh, the arrays, so let's say you have an array here and it has three spots. Let's say it has like A, B, and C. Uh, this is going to have an index of zero. This is going to have an index of one. This is going to have an index of two. So it starts from zero, and it goes up to the, and then it goes up from there. Let's say you want to change something at a certain index. Uh, it's going to be simply the array name, and then the uh, index right there, and then equals, and then the new data. And here are some examples. You can just look at them yourself. So sometimes you don't know how much data you have. So an array list is a way to store uh, an unknown amount of data. So they dynamically change their size as you go. And the syntax is as follows. You have the array list here. Then you have a type. Uh, it's going to be like integer or string or whatever. And the variable name of the list. An equal sign, new, once again. Array list, the same type. And then open and close braces. Or open and close uh, parentheses. So here are a few examples. We have uh, an array list of strings, uh, an array list of integers. And then we have um, an array list of strings again, but this time the uh, size here, we changed it to 15. Uh, by default, it'll have 10. This isn't on the AP Computer Science exam, but it's good to know just for memory management in the future. So let's say you want to access some elements. Well, you would just assume, okay, so for this example, we're just going to assume that the array list is called A. And we're just going to call some functions on it. So we're going to call a dot get, and then inside these parentheses the index. And let's say we want to add something to the list. Uh, we would simply do a dot add, and then the object that we want. And you can see the rest of these. Another important one is a dot size, and that'll return the number of elements. And then a dot index index of will find the first index of that object. So in summary, arrays are used to store a fixed number of items. Array lists are used to store a dynamic uh, number of items. Array list elements must be objects. And then the array list have methods to access these elements.